Welcome and thank you for joining this Reno A&E and Everly Design Inc. webinar. I'm your host, Carl Zabel, Sales Manager for Reno A&E and Everly Design's Access Control Products. Today's topic is Access Control Vehicle Detection Solutions. I will provide you with an overview of our product suites for both EDI and Reno A&E product lines and inform you of what features, options, and products would be best suited for multiple types of applications. Everly Design Inc. or EDI is headquartered in Phoenix, Arizona, and Reno A&E is located in Reno, Nevada. Together, we are the leading manufacturer of electronic vehicle detection and safety monitoring products for the parking, access, traffic, and railway control segments. Our parking and access control products include vehicle detectors, single and dual channel specialty detectors such as directional logic and exact count configurations, connecting harnesses, connecting sockets, prefabricated roadway loops, loop wire, and backer rod materials. Our devices allow parking and access control professionals to design, integrate, automate, and optimize installations easily, efficiently, and safely. Every employee of Reno A&E and Everly Design understands and focuses upon our five core tenets that have contributed to our 37 years of success as your trusted partner. We provide just-in-time supply that minimizes your need to carry a large product inventory. We provide high reliability for products that are mission critical for parking, access, intersection, and railway control systems to ensure that your equipment inside the operators and controller cabinets operate efficiently 24-7. Our team members are empowered to provide extreme service for our partners. Whatever their priorities may be, those instantly become our priorities. We believe in a fair pricing policy for our partners, ensuring that they receive quality and reliable products at a competitive price. And lastly, we both deliver standard and customized products and solutions to our partners, which may include unique functionality for a specialized application or perhaps private labeling of products that match those of your company. The synergy of Everly Design and Reno a &E is that we provide the core competencies for all parking and access control applications. We are the global leaders in inductive loop-based detection and provide nearly six decades of combined skill expertise in creating and designing today's inductive loop technologies. There are multiple opportunities for inductive loop technologies such as parking structures, controlled access facilities, gated communities, warehouse facilities with transportation doors and docks, along with drive-through retail locations such as fast food restaurants, coffee shops, car washes. Everly Design and Reno a &E are the gold standard in vehicle detection with over 99% count and presence accuracy levels. We have more than 1.5 million inductive loop detectors installed nationwide and continue to provide the highest reliability and maintenance-free operation than any other vehicle detection technology. The inductive loop system consists of a vehicle loop detector and an inductive roadway loop. The detection loop zone consists of the inductive loop and the lead-in cable or loop wires that need to be properly connected and all connections must be solved, soldered and sealed to ensure long-term reliability. Ultimately, we will be connecting the vehicle detector to the parking or access control operators and the setting up of the multiple features and options provided by the vehicle detector for the application. Regarding the loop design and applications, there are multiple considerations to review, such as installing a sliding gate, a swinging gate, parking barrier arms, park it ticket dispensers, bollards, taking food orders, counting vehicles, or wanting to provide immediate access to vehicles that have uniquely coded transmitters on them. The next few slides provide an overview of our detector features and options. As you can see, there are a myriad of features and options that both Everly Design and Reno a &E access control vehicle detectors provide, from input voltages, LED status indicators, fail-safe, fail-secure operation, programmable relay outputs, delay and extension timers, loop frequency selections, sensitivity selections, sensitivity boost, detect memory, and loop fault memory. All of these features and options are key to providing any application or system with the highest degree of reliability and detection accuracy. Voltages may vary according to application, and we have models that operate on low voltage or high voltage to minimize the amount of vehicle detector models needed meaning one model works with either 12 or 24 volts AC or 12 to 24 volts DC. 
Same with the high voltage models that work with both 120 and 240 volts AC. Our detectors offer fail safe and fail secure modes of operation. So when the detector incorporates a faulty inductive loop or when the power is removed from the access control system, the detector will do one of two things. For fail safe operation, which is typically the case for 95% of the installations where the public is present, means that if an inductive loop fails, the detector will provide the system with an output to open the gate or parking arm to ensure a safe passage when entering or exiting. For fail secure operations, which is typically used for airports, prisons, and other high security locations, when the inductive loop fails or power is removed, the detector outputs will not respond and will not open the gate, keeping this application secure. Our vehicle detectors offer multiple output configurations, such as infinite and limited presence. Infinite presence is the primary selection for almost all access and parking control applications. Our goal with vehicle detectors is to make sure that you detect the vehicle as long as it remains over the loop zone. Limited presence will drop the call output if a vehicle has been on the loop zone for one to three hours. In access control applications today, almost all applications use the infinite presence mode. That's what we recommend. Many years ago, limited presence mode was the only selection for inductive loop vehicle detectors. Today, limited presence mode is still used in most traffic control applications. For instance, a vehicle that parks near a loop zone on a narrow street and gets detected. Ultimately, the traffic engineer would like to drop that call and reset the detector. The vehicle detectors also offer other selectable output options, such as pulse on entry and pulse on exit. Pulse on entry means that the detector will provide a 125 millisecond pulse output to the operator upon entering the loop zone. And the pulse on exit means that the detector will provide a pulse output to the operator after the vehicle leaves the loop zone. An application for pulse on entry is typically used for parking ticket dispensers or operators that require immediate pulse output upon entering the loop zone. The pulse on exit is typically used when a vehicle leaves a loop zone to make sure vehicles have cleared an area so the gate or parking arm can close safely. The follow output is an output offered on our two output models. When it's turned on, it will provide an output when the loop experiences an active loop fault. Connecting this output to a device like a modem or a cell phone will send an alert to a service provider letting them know to schedule a service call. In regards to outputs, we have models that can be programmed to delay or extend the call output. By turning on the two second delay option, this will not activate the output until the vehicle has stopped over the loop zone for two seconds. This feature is primarily used in drive through applications where unwanted vehicles such as bicycles and scooters may be actively driving through the loop zone. However, there are multiple applications with gates and parking controls in which you want to make sure the vehicle is stuck over the loop zone before activating the relay. By turning on the 2, 5, or 10 second extension timer, this will extend the output for the program time. This ensures that vehicles have safely cleared the loop zone. All models have a minimum of four loop frequencies which prevent crosstalk and other interference issues. The EDI deflectometer series offer a built-in frequency meter, which will be covered in another slide. Our models offer between four and 10 levels of sensitivity. Sensitivity assists for small loop zones, loop zones that may not have the proper inductance range, and for detecting high bed and high profile vehicles. Most of our models also offer sensitivity boost. This is for applications that have a lot of vehicle traffic, such as high bed trucks, travel trailers, commercial trucks with long hitches in between the trailers, when this feature is turned on, the sensitivity will boost two times higher than what the sensitivity is set during the call output state. When the vehicles have completely cleared the loop zone, the sensitivity will be dropped back down to the original level. All models offer the detect memory feature. This feature is built in and always on. When there is momentary power interruptions to the system between two and four seconds, the detector will maintain the vehicle output or call state. This feature is excellent for areas or cities that have issues with keeping a constant and stable power supply. Some models offer built-in non-volatile loop fault memory. The loop fault memory uses internal non-volatile memory to store and display the current and previous loop faults. Utilizing the front panel loop fault indicators and the seven segment display on the EDI models. A power loss or reset will not delete this memory. The loop fault monitor continually checks the integrity of the loop network. 
The detector is able to detect shorted and open loops. And the EDI deflectometer series models can also detect sudden changes in loop inductance, exceeding 25% of the nominal inductance. The 25% change in inductance fault typically happens when you have multiple loops in series and one of them, one of the loops shorts. When this happens, the detector will retune to the new inductance within two seconds, and as long as it's between the acceptable inductance range, which is 20 to 2500 microhenries, the beauty of this feature is that when you go out to the service call, the detector will indicate the fault status, even if the detector's power was removed due to an event such as an electrical storm. When the power comes back on, the detector will remember the type of loop fault and display it on the LED status indicators. This is a must for troubleshooting. With this feature, if you see the detector fault indicators, then you indeed had a loop fault. However, if you don't see the detector loop fault indicator, then you did not have a loop problem, and you can move on to troubleshooting the gate or parking operator. This is the all-knowing, all-telling feature, which will save valuable time and money. Having the right tools for the job is the key to success. Now that we have a grasp of the internal features and options of our vehicle detectors, the configurations and physical options are plentiful. As you can see from the slide, Reno a &E offers a multiple single channel detector options ranging from one and two programmable outputs, external or internal switches, and a model designed for low power applications. Reno a &E also provides multiple models that are configured for plug-in applications and typically are designed for multiple operator manufacturer's equipment. You can visit renoane.com, go to Access Products, to find out what plug-in models are compatible for multiple manufacturer's products. These models are also single channel type with two programmable outputs. Reno a &E provides two channel detectors as well. This is having two individual detectors in one enclosure. One of the advantages for dual channel detectors is that you can save money by not having to purchase two individual single channel detectors. Another key advantage is not having to worry about the two detector frequencies interfering or cross-talking. The detectors are designed with sequential scanning, which means that the loops connected to each other are activated alternately to eliminate crosstalk. The dual channel models are also offered in either a single or dual connector version, depending on your application. The dual channel detectors also offer directional logic feature in the model AX2 DL series. The directional logic models are programmable to provide an output for going in a certain direction utilizing a two loop configuration. You can configure the application to get an output going from loop one to loop two or loop two to loop one. Everly Design also offers a complete line of single channel access control products that have been designed with additional features and options that other brands in the marketplace do not offer. These are our deflectometer series vehicle detectors, the all-knowing and all-telling. Our deflectometer technology allows us to use the seven-segment LED on the front panel as a display and meter. In addition to manually selecting 10 levels of sensitivity, the deflectometer series has a built-in signal strength meter for the call output when a vehicle is over the loop zone. We have designed our algorithms for all licensed roadway vehicles to indicate their profile or signature. So when a medium-sized vehicle or small truck is on the loop zone, we use the seven-segment LED as a meter. And we want to display to indicate the number five as the optimum setting for this size vehicle. To achieve this, you simply use the up and down push buttons on the front panel of the detector until you see the number five. We now know that the detector will pick up all vehicles, including 50cc motor scooters to high profile trucks. The beauty of this series is that you're not guessing what sensitivity setting you need to detect all vehicles. There is no more guessing. For vehicles that are smaller or lower profile, the meter should run six. And for high bed trucks or four by fours, the meter should be four. By using this feature, you are actually using a roadway vehicle to set your application reliably instead of using, for instance, a toolbox or ladder to test your detector installation. Not using an actual vehicle will not provide you with actual feedback to ensure that you will detect all licensed vehicles when you leave the installation site. Another advanced feature is that the EDI detectors update dynamically. 
So when you drive your vehicle on the loop zone, you can change the detector sensitivity settings without resetting the detector. So you can set the signal strength meter to the proper level for the vehicle on the loop zone. Additionally, you can change all the other settings on the detector as well without resetting the detector, except frequency. When you select a frequency, the detector will reset. Regarding frequency, the seven segment display is also used for reading the frequency of the loop network, which assists in making sure adjacent loops connected to another detector do not interfere or crosstalk. You should always make sure adjacent loops are not within five kilohertz of another. When you press the front panel reset button or apply power, you will see the seven segment blink for a set of numbers. For instance, it will flash the number seven, then the number three, which indicates 73 kilohertz. So when setting up a second detector with an adjacent loop connected, you can also read the loop frequency of that loop network. Again, the beauty of the deflectometer series is that you are not guessing. It actually has built-in tools that assist you in setting up your parking or access control systems the first time and not having to send a technician out to the job site to make adjustments at a later date, which of course saves both time and money. There are many additional features to the deflectometer series detectors, and I welcome you to go to edi-traffic.com forward slash access control and select any of the deflectometer series models on the landing page. There you will find the interactive demo that will take you through and simulate these features, plus all of the loop diagnostic features. Please feel free to call me or our technical support team and we'll be happy to review the simulator and features with you. The deflectometer series offer multiple single channel enclosure type detectors ranging from one and two programmable outputs, external rear switches, and a model designed for low power applications. The deflectometer series also offers plug-in models that are configured for plug-in applications and are typically designed for multiple gate or parking operator manufacturers. You can visit our website to find out what plug-in models are compatible for multiple manufacturer systems. These models are also single channel type with two programmable outputs. We also offer anti-tailgating vehicle detectors to provide exact counts of vehicles, even when another vehicle may still be located within the same loop zone. So for instance, a vehicle is exiting a loop but stops. The vehicle behind that car moves forward and is now on top of the same loop zone at the same time. Our detectors will detect the second vehicle and provide an accurate output or count. This feature is primarily used in parking applications due to the critical nature of receiving revenue for every vehicle that enters the parking lot. So one of the scenarios that happens in the parking revenue world is that perhaps an employee working the entrance to a sporting event is trying to cheat the parking system owner slash operator to gain revenue for themselves. If you have a detector that can count multiple vehicles within the same loop zone, this is an excellent feature. So going back to the person working at the parking entrance, they sometimes get creative, place a metal waste basket close enough to the loop zone to get a detector output or count. Then they allow X amount of vehicles through collecting their money, but the system only recording the one count, the waste basket. They end up pocketing the money for the additional cars they let through, the ATG series detectors will always provide the system with the accurate counts and providing reports for the lost revenue from a particular entrance zone. The model L ATG is for single loop counting and the DL ATG, which also incorporates the directional logic feature, works with either one lane or two lanes of travel and two loop zones. This model will provide the accurate counting plus the direction of travel, ingress and egress. Another specialty detection product line is our Automatic Vehicle Identification or AVI receivers, transmitters, and dual purpose receiver detectors. This is where a uniquely coded AVI-B receiver is placed in the parking operator of a parking or gated entrance and is connected to the vehicle detector loop network. So now you have a vehicle detector and an AVI receiver connected to the same loop zone. The detector works as it's supposed to for the application such as a gated entrance with a keypad, but when a vehicle is equipped with the same uniquely coded transmitter, which is mounted under the front of the vehicle, it will allow automatic priority access for that vehicle without using any keypad, RFID tag, or other access key. 
We also offer a vehicle detector and a receiver designed in the same enclosure, the model BT-AVI. The AVI products are used in traffic, railway, and access control applications. There are endless applications in all segments, but in the access control segment, applications consist of immediate access to private properties, business entrances, and providing unique codes for only police, fire, and EMS type vehicles to gain immediate access to the public and private entrances throughout their jurisdiction. Having an emergency vehicle be able to start opening a gate to a secured entrance without having to get out of the vehicle to use the Knox box will save valuable time and lives. I welcome you to give me a call to discuss agencies using this product line for their emergency vehicles and how it can be specified within the agency's overall emergency access plan. So this concludes the overview of our wide range of vehicle detectors and their unique features and options. I want to now provide you with an overview of our wide range of prefabricated loops and our roadway loop wire and cable products. Reno a &E has been designing and manufacturing prefabricated loops for over 20 years. Reno a &E is the leading manufacturer of roadway loops worldwide. Our model PLB series sock cut loops and PLH series direct burial loops meet and exceed all traffic control specifications for roadway loop wire and cable. In addition to the PLB and PLH series loops, we are introducing our new PLA series saw cut loops designed specifically for the access and parking control segments. The PLA series loops are ribbon cable design for maximum durability and easy to install in 1 8 inch or 4 millimeter saw cuts and larger. Why prefabricated loops? Our formula for long lasting reliability is incorporating cross-link polyethylene or XLPE insulation into our proprietary wires and cables. We are now at 12 different wire or cable types designed specifically for traffic, railway, and access control applications. Our prefabricated XLPE loop designs incorporate water blocking gels for additional water resistance and tinned stranded copper wire for additional resistance to corrosion. XLPE provides excellent thermal, electrical, and physical properties along with outstanding resistance to abrasion, moisture, and chemicals. XLPE is also suitable for high temperatures being directly applied, such as hot asphalt. PVC and nylon type wires do not come close to having the same properties. Why prefabricated direct burial loops such as our PLH series? In addition to the XLPE insulation, they are very cost effective, provide no saw cutting expenses, they reduce labor costs, you have no replacement costs, you have no maintenance costs, and offer an extremely long life cycle to your access control systems. The PLH series, as well as all of our prefabricated loops, provide a 10-year warranty. In this slide, you see the different layers of the PLH direct burial loops, from multiple XLPE jackets and multiple moisture resistant materials. This wire cable provides the ultimate resistance to the environment of dirt, cement, oil, water, and asphalt. Why prefabricated saw cut loops, such as our PLB and PLA series loops? A prefabricated saw cut loop is much stronger and durable than creating a loop zone with loop wire alone. Our loops are manufactured in a controlled environment. They are cost effective, easy to handle, provides a 10 year warranty, and again, offer a long life cycle to your access control systems. I mentioned this model earlier, and it's a new prefabricated saw cut loop being launched this month, the model PLA series. We have spent a considerable amount of time with the design of this product. It's perfect for all access control applications. The ribbon cable design is extremely flexible and lightweight to handle. They can be installed in 1 8 inch or 4 millimeter saw cuts and larger. There is no need to cut 45 degree relief corners. Just notch out or use a small drill bit to remove the sharp corner. Not having to cut 45 degree relief corners will provide longer life cycle of the roadway surface. They also incorporate XLPE insulation and provide tin stranded copper wire for abrasion and corrosion resistance. As with all our prefabricated loop products, they are all tested, then soaked in salt water tanks for a minimum of three days, then tested again. The PLA series also has a 10 year warranty. The prefabricated PLB series saw cut loops are designed for maximum durability and are also very flexible to install and handle. 
They can be installed in 1 4 inch or 70 millimeter saw cuts or larger. And like PLA series, there is no need to cut 45 degree relief corners. The series of prefabricated loops is designed with water blocking gel and meets and exceeds all specifications for traffic control loop wire and cable. All of our prefabricated saw cut loops are designed with two extra feet or approximately half meter on the perimeter. This allows for not cutting the loop zone to the exact size and making the loop easy to install. In the top figure, which is a PLA type loop, you can see that when you place the loop in the saw cut, you take the excess perimeter and pull it back into the lead-in slot. You can then use the one inch or 26 millimeter drill bit to drill a hole and fold the wire where the junction box is and place it in the hole. In the middle figure, also a PLA type loop, if you use a 1 4 inch or 7 millimeter saw cut or larger for the lead-in slot, you can place the lead-in cable and the junction box directly in the saw cut. In both of these diagrams, the lead-in cable then goes back to the gate or parking operator. Before filling with an asphalt or cement sealant, you, we recommend that you use 3 8 inch or a 10 millimeter diameter and a half inch or 13 millimeter diameter backer rod, which is an industrial foam material that can be placed in the saw cut to hold the loop down before filling with sealant. Please note that you only need to use small two inch or 50 millimeter piece every couple of feet or every meter to hold down the loop and lead in wire. In the bottom figure, this is showing the PLB prefabricated loop installation. As in the top figure, you place the loop in the perimeter of the loop and then pull back the excess into the lead in saw cut. You then calculate where you need to use the one inch or 26 millimeter drill bit to drill a hole and place the round junction cylinder in the hole. Again, use backer rod pieces to assist holding the loop cable at the bottom of the saw cut. Then fill with the appropriate cement or asphalt sealer. Please note that we also sell reels of the backer rod materials. The prefabricated PLH series direct barrier loops are also designed for maximum durability and for temperatures up to 426 degrees Fahrenheit or 219 degrees Celsius, which will withstand hot asphalt being directly poured on the prefabricated loop. The series has multiple water blocking materials and multiple layers of cable, all of which incorporate XLPE insulation, including the actual four conductors of the loop wire. This loop can be configured for any loop geometry. The prefabricated PLHR series direct burial loops are super tough prefabricated loops designed for direct burial under gravel, rocks, mud, dirt, and cement. The actual loop and lead-in cable is the same as the PLHR series. However, the PLHR provides an outer high visibility red outer jacket that is formulated from thermoplastic elastomer or TPE for super abrasion resistance. It's nearly impossible to penetrate this outer jacket, which by design is to keep anything from puncturing or penetrating the loop. One note, the TPE jacket is not rated for high temperatures. Again, this loop application is for bearing under rural environments and the PLH is the one to use for hot asphalt applications. Again, all of our prefabricated loop products are tested then soaked in saltwater tanks for a minimum three days and then tested again. When comparing other insulations against XLPE, such as PVC or nylon types, please note that only XLPE provides the very best resistance to water as we never want leaky loops. XLPE also provides the most resistance to abrasion, is very flexible in cold temperatures, offers the best electrical properties, is very resistant to oil, chemicals, and high temperatures. Our goal as the leaders in inductive loop vehicle detection technology is to provide you with the very best inductive loop products, which will provide extremely long-lasting access and parking control vehicle detection systems. Again, all of our prefabricated loop series come with a 10-year warranty. For those who create and design your own inductive loops, we want to let you know that we also manufacture a variety of loop wires, all designed with XLPE insulation and 10-stranded copper wire. From 20 gauge to 16 gauge wire types, we offer the very best selection of wire configurations for warm and cold weather applications. As mentioned before, we also provide reels of backer rod industrial foam in multiple sizes. Please visit our websites and or contact us directly to receive further information on all of our access and parking control vehicle detection products. We request an opportunity to turn all of your inductive loop business. 
We price our top quality products competitively and offer superior delivery times along with extreme customer service and support.